so what now? Lent? Penance? Some might think, after all we've been through with COVID, haven't we done enough penance yet? Hmm. Let me say first that sufferings or hardship from COVID have not necessarily been penance, but they can become very much a part of our Lent this year. Penance, penitence, is really about conversion. In Greek, the word is metanoia, turning, turning toward the Lord and away from what is harmful and sinful. The disciplines of Lent, which we group into three categories, fasting, almsgiving, and prayer, are to help us leave behind what separates from God, but especially to help us turn toward Him with our hearts open to Him and to others. We can change our COVID challenges into kindling wood of a Lenten fire that will purify and warm our hearts in the Holy Spirit. During Lent, we are to choose life, to choose Christ with renewed intensity, as Moses enjoins on us in Deuteronomy. We're to pick up our daily crosses so that we prepare for Holy Week, to stand at the foot of the cross with Mary as Christ suffers, dies, and rises again, what we call the great Paschal mystery. It's how God works through suffering to bring new life. So the cross is indeed our hope, our hope now at this time of history which we share. To begin this Lent, I suggest that you take stock of where you are now. What about those COVID challenges? How are you living them? Try to gather them up. Don't be afraid to feel them a bit so as to give them to the Lord, nail them to the cross, abandon them, and abandon yourself to Jesus. First, you might do this in quiet, in solitude, by yourself. And then I hope that you can do this with your spouse, with your family. Talk with your children. Let them share what they've been going through. Hold your rosary. Say some Hail Mary slowly as a way of opening the door so Our Lady can help you go inside to meet Jesus. More and deeper prayer is the core practice of Lent. If you do what I'm suggesting, maybe you'll be able to embrace what you've already been giving up during COVID so that you can see now what the Lord wants of you. What does, what, would, what does he want you to give up for Lent so that you can stop doing, in, doing those things that do you harm and to come closer to him? And be grateful. Remember, and be grateful for the love that you felt and you shared during COVID. And give more, and give more of yourself during Lent. That's what we call almsgiving. We here at Family Rosary really would like to help you and walk with you and your family throughout Lent. We'd like to invite you to go to our webpage, familyrosary.org. That's easy to remember, familyrosary.org, for helps each day for living Lent together. Accompany us at, in our Lenten activities, what we're calling at the foot of the cross, Lenten family journey. Lent is about renewing faith, deepening hope, and intensifying our love. You know, this COVID Lent could be your, less, your best Lent ever. <laughs>